Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, viewers. Welcome to today's devotion with a daily fountain, devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion. Our topic for today's devotion is Jesus cleanses the temple. Jesus cleanses the temple. Before we proceed, let us pray. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Father, indeed, there is nothing that can make us clean, nor make us whole, but your name, your blood, and your power. Our wealth cannot, our strength cannot, our connection cannot. Father, our parents cannot, our pastors cannot. We give you the praise and we give you the glory. We thank you for cleansing each and every one of us. Father, as we study your word today, we ask, O oh Lord, that the power from your word, Father, shall cleanse us and make us whole again. That the power from your word shall heal us and cleanse us. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Our text before us this morning, from the book of John, chapter 2, beginning to read from the 13th verse. John chapter 2 and from verse 13. And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of money sitting. And when he had made the scourge of small cocks, he drove them all out of the temple, and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money, and overthrew the tables. And said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence, make not my father's house an house of merchandise. And his disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of thine house had eaten me up. Then answered the Jews, and said unto him, What sign shewest thou unto us, seeing that thou dost these things? Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple in three days, and I will rise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and will thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, and the feast day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did. But Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men and needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our topic once more, Jesus cleanses the temple. Now looking at the text we just read from John chapter 2 and from verse 13, you will see that Jesus and his disciples were heading to Jerusalem for the Passover festival. The Passover, which commemorates the biblical story of the Exodus, where God freed the children of Israel 
from slavery in Egypt. And now normally the Jewish people always celebrate this yearly. And Jesus was heading to the temple to be part of this celebration. Only to get to the temple and he saw people in the temple buying and selling. People in the temple exchanging money. People in the temple doing, doing all sorts of things. And the Bible recorded that Jesus was displeased and Jesus was angry. And he went ahead to make a scourge of whips from courts to wipe them out of the temple. And now they asked him what right he had to do this. Who gave him such authority? Okay, if he wants to do it, then he should show them a sign. And Jesus told them something, something very interesting. He told them, pull down this building and I will raise it up in three days. And they laughed at him. A building who've been building for 46 years. A building who've been building one, two, three, till 46. 46 years. And you said you will rebuild it in three days? They laughed at him. But they never knew what Jesus meant. Jesus was not speaking of the physical temple. But yet, in verse 21, very key, he said, but he spoke of the temple of his body. But he spoke of the temple of his body. You connect this verse to 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and in verse 9. Say, know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you? And then Jesus told them, he said, bring it down and I will rebuild it in three days. But they never understood. They never imagined what he meant. The same way so many of us are in the church. The same way so many of us are in the church. Believers. We call ourselves believers. We are in the church with posts, with titles. I'm in the ushering department. I'm the choir master. I'm a chorister. I'm an evangelist. I'm a priest. And we are still in that temple selling and buying. Selling and buying in what sense? Practically might not be in the sense of the days of old. Where they came to sell pigeons. Where they came to sell doves. Where they came to exchange money. But our body which is the temple. Defiling it every day. Defiling this temple of God which ought to be holy. A place which Jesus said should be called the house of prayer. A holy body, a holy temple. We, most of us still in the church, still defile this temple of the Lord. Still defile the temple of God. And Jesus is displeased with such actions. Jesus is not happy just as he was not happy in the scripture. Jesus is shocked at our actions. And Jesus is already making the whip. He has already made that whip. That whip is the word of the Lord. To wipe out such appetites, the appetites of sin. To wipe out such fleshy appetites. Things that do not please God. Out of the church. Where you will see a brother who is not married. Will be comfortable to be having sex with ladies. Where you will see a sister who is not married. Will be comfortable to having sex with men. Where you will see a man who is married with children. Still going out after young girls. It still happens in the church. Women that are married with children. Still going after young boys. It still happens even in the church. And brethren, I want to tell you. That Jesus is not happy. Jesus is displeased with such actions. Jesus is ready to cleanse as many that are ready to be cleansed. Jesus is ready to cleanse as many that are available to be cleansed. Make yourself available. Be ready. If you are in such a position, if you are still in such a position, where you yourself have turned your temple, which is your body, into a marketplace, where you allow all sorts of sins to come in and dwell. In those days, it was doves and pigeons the sold. Now we sell sin. Now we sell sin to each other. You are in the church, and yet they know you, you are a wonderful liar. Your lies are much. You are in the church, 
They know you. You are good with false witnesses. Jesus is displeased. Jesus is angry. Before we proceed, so that you will be a partaker of the blessings of the Lord, I just want you to say this prayer with me. Pray after me. As you are listening, as you are watching, just believe that the Lord will answer you after these prayers, and it will be done. Just say with me, say, Lord Jesus, I confess that I am a sinner. I confess to my sins. I am sorry, Lord. Have mercy on me. Cleanse me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. Make me a new person. Father, cleanse my temple. Cleanse the temple. Cleanse my body. Cleanse your body. And accept me as your own. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. If you just prayed that prayer, I want to tell you congratulations. Because indeed, that temple has been cleansed. That temple has been cleansed. You are now cleansed by the power in the name of Jesus. And one other thing is not just only about sins. Also, I want to bring in the issue of sickness and diseases. Just as the Lord is too holy that he cannot behold sin with his eyes, just as the temple of the Lord does not allow sin to dwell in it, also sicknesses and diseases have no right to dwell in the temple of the Lord. Sicknesses and diseases have no right to dwell in the temple of the Lord. Joel chapter 3 and in verse 21 Said the blood I haven't cleansed before, I shall cleanse, for I, the Lord thy God, I dwell at in Zion. So, what is that disease? What is that sickness that, as a believer, every month you spend your salaries in the hospital? Hey, child of God, it is not good. I want to tell you that Jesus is not happy with such a situation. I want to tell you that Jesus is ready to cleanse such a situation. You are here listening to me. You are in such a situation. I want to tell you, if only you will submit to Jesus. Ask him to come and do it. Ask him to cleanse. He's the mighty cleanser. You saw that? He came to the temple. He cleansed the, te the temple. You accept him. He comes into your life. He cleanses your life. Sicknesses will go. He will forgive you your sins. You will no longer go to the hospitals to spend your money when Jesus has done the work. I don't know if you are here, such a person listening. Please, I just want you to also pray. As I pray, pray with me. As I pray, pray with me. Say, Father, I commit my life into your hand. Father, I surrender to you. Father, take charge of my life. Father, take charge of my being. Father, take charge. The body is yours. Father, take charge, dwell in this temple. This sickness, I call you. Call the name, mention the name of the sickness. Call it forth, be it high blood pressure, arthritis, any blood sickness. Call it forth by the power in the name of Jesus and ask that Jesus cleanses that sickness. Whatever it is, a physical one, is it something that stops you and no one can see it? Call it forth. Jesus is ready to cleanse. Say, Father, cleanse me. Father, Cleanse me. Father, cleanse me. By the power in the name of Jesus. Every blood sickness, I speak to you right now. As the people watch, as they believe, as they connect to this. Father, I ask anyone with such a pain. Father, anyone with such a burden. Father, I ask by the power in the name of Jesus that you cleanse such right now in the name of Jesus. Father, whatever illness it is, I ask, O oh Lord, be cleansed by the power in the name of Jesus. The woman with the issue of the blood, she believed, if only I can touch his garment, I shall be made whole. And she did. She stretched forth her hands and she touched the garment. Father, because your children this day have the belief that, Father, call in your, in your name, the name that is above all names, the name that cleanses the name of Jesus. As they mention that name to that situation, Lord, I ask, by your mercies, hear their prayers. By the power in the name of Jesus, cleanse them. Father, make them whole from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Father, oh Lord, there's a sickness in the head. Father, it is cleansed in the name of Jesus. It's a sickness in the body. It is cleansed in the name of Jesus. It's a sickness in the feet. 
is to cleanse in the name of Jesus. Lord, with your cleansing, Lord, wash them. Cleanse them by the power in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. We worship you because your name is mighty. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. The all cleansing blood, the all cleansing Jesus, the all cleansing God. Jesus, we thank you because what you've made whole, you've made whole. Father, we thank you because what you've cleansed, you've cleansed. Father, we thank you because after this cleansing, people will see the same children of yours. And Father, glorify your name in heaven. Father, that body disease is cleansed in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Looking at verse 22 down to 25. So when therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Now when he was in Jerusalem, at the Passover in the feast day, many believed in his name. When they saw the miracles which he did, but Jesus did not commit himself unto them, because he knew all men. Many believed in his name when they saw the miracles he had done. Because of your healing, I prophesy by the power in the name of Jesus, that many will come to Jesus. Because of your cleansing, I say many will come to Jesus. Many will turn to Jesus because they know it was the Lord that did it for you. By the time you testify of the cleansing power of Jesus, so many will return to the Lord again. By the power in the name of Jesus, as you go out this morning, as you step out to your offices, as you go out on the roads, as you go out in your I, I, around your neighborhood, I ask that the cleansing power and cleansing blood and cleansing presence of Jesus go with you. That as you go to your office today, there shall be a different aura. That people shall know indeed you had an encounter with Jesus this morning before coming. Because the cleansing power is upon you. And as you go, everything unclean on your part. The Lord shall with you cleanse them in the name of Jesus. You won't be in that office and there will be unclean things going on and you will remain shut. From this day henceforth, as you go, you will clean things because the Lord has also empowered you to clean. By the power in the name of Jesus, you shall no longer be unclean. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. Blessed be your holy name. Father, oh Lord, thank you. For we pray in Jesus' name. Join me as we take the closing prayer. Almighty Father, we thank you for this morning devotion. We thank you, Almighty, because your name is higher above every other name. Father, we thank you because, indeed, you have come with your weeping. The word which is your weep, Father, the word which is your kid, the word which flogs out every sin. Father, oh Lord, we thank you for the entrance of your word that brings a light. We thank you for your word that is stronger than the hammer. We thank you for your word, Almighty, Father, that breaks rocks into pieces. Your word, oh Lord, that is sharper than the two-edged sword. We thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Father, oh Lord, as this your word has come forth, Father, indeed, oh Lord, it has come forth mightily in our lives. We pray, oh Lord, may everything your word needs to accomplish, may it be accomplished in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. For in Jesus' most powerful name, we have prayed. Go in this thy mind. Know that today you've been cleansed. Please, I beg you in the name of Jesus, do not go back to those sins. Do not go back to selling sheep. Do not go back to selling doves. Do not go back to selling those evil things that will come back to hurt you. Do not go back to doing and spoiling the temple which the Lord has cleansed. Please, I beg you in the name of Jesus, go and remain clean and remain cleansed. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, Subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.